Question 13. It's a combination of arithmetic and geometric sequence. A very good problem. See, we have already given formulas right on the top, which we need to use. One is arithmetic sequence general term, and the other one is sum of geometric sequence. Correct? The question here is, the first, fifth, and thirteenth terms of an arithmetic sequence are the first three terms of geometric sequence with a common ratio of 2. If the 21st term of arithmetic sequence is 72, calculate the sum of first 10 terms of geometric sequence. Correct? So, let's try to understand what the question is. Slowly, the first, fifth and thirteenth terms of arithmetic sequence are first three terms of geometric sequence. So, let's find what are first fifth and thirteenth terms of arithmetic sequence. So, we can write first term as A, right? So, A becomes the first term of arithmetic sequence. Fifth term will be A plus 5 minus 1D, which is 4D. So, fifth term will be A plus 4D, right? And thirteenth term will be A plus 12D. So, these are our three terms of arithmetic sequence. And these are also first three terms of geometric sequence. It means what? It means the ratio is 2. Okay? Now, one more information is given to us, and that is, if the 21st term of the arithmetic sequence is 72. So, the 21st term is 72, right? So, what is going to be the 21st term? 21st term will be A plus 20D, right? 20D. And this happens to be? 72. So, we get 72 here. From here, we can find the relation between A and D, right? So, what we can do is we can write what is A equals to. So, A equals to 72 minus 20D. So, we get one relation here, correct? Let's name it and let's call it equation number 1. Okay? So, that's equation number 1 for us. Okay. Now, the second is that we know that the ratios of these should be 2 since it is in geometric sequence. So, let's use that equation. So, A plus 4D divided by A is equals to 2. Correct? So, from here, we can say A plus 4D is 2A, right? 2 times A, right? We'll cross multiply and from here, we can find what A is in terms of D. So, let me take it on this side and then write 4D equals to 2A minus A. This is D. 2A minus A is A. But we know A in terms of D already. Correct? So, let me call this as equation 2. And if I combine equation 1 and 2, which are two different equations with two variables, I can find both A and D. Correct? So, let's do that part. So, I'll combine these two and say 4D equals to, instead of A, I'll write 72 minus 20D. Correct? So, I can solve for D now. Bring 20 here, so get 24D equals to 72, and therefore D equals to 72 divided by 24, which is 3. So, we know now what is D for us, correct? Now, if we know D, then we can find A. How? A is 4 times D. So, A equals to 4 times D, which is 3. So, we get A equals to 12. So, now we know our A, correct? Now, this last part is calculate the sum of first 10 terms of geometric sequence. The formula is Sn equals to A r to the power of n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. So, here we know A and what is R? R is for us 2, right? And therefore, sum of 10 terms, S of 10 is equals to A is 12. 12 times R is 2 to the power of 10 minus 1 divided by R minus 1, which is 2 minus 1, correct? So using calculator, you can always calculate this answer. 12 into 2 to the power of 10 is 1024, right? You remember this. 2 to the power of 10 is 1024, okay? So, 1024 minus 1 is 1023. 
and divided by 2 minus 1 is just 1, correct? So we can calculate this using a calculator and get the answer, which is 12 times 1023, 12 to 76, which is 12,276. So that is the sum of first 10 terms of our geometric sequence, correct? I hope you appreciate how we did it. Let me summarize in first, fifth and thirteenth term means A, A plus 4D, A plus 12D. These are your three terms in arithmetic sequence. First three terms in geometric sequence, that means this divided by this should be equal to 2, same as this divided by that. We don't need that, so just that will work. So we got a second equation. The 21st term of the arithmetic sequence 72, that is A plus 20D equals to 72. A plus 20D is 72. Now from here we found what A is. From the second equation we related A and D and found both A and D. Once we calculated A, we can find the sum of geometric series, first 10 elements. We know R and used our formula to get the answer. Okay? I hope you enjoyed the process. Thank you.